again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with the continuation of the Mystery Lace Knit Along, and we are on row 142. Quite a long haul, but I think it's worth it. Hope you do too. All right, so we've got a bunch of eyelets on the side here, and up here, I know I definitely want one up at the top here, up at the, the pinnacle, if you will. Now, on the side, I'm not entirely sure, but we shall continue. So, what I'm thinking, because we also have some eyelets over on this side, what I'm offhand thinking is that I want one here, and here, and here. That is offhand. Otherwise, I'm not sure. So, let's, let's carry on, shall we? All right, so we're going to knit the first three stitches. You know me, it's all the, you know, plan as you're actually doing it. So, one, and two, and three. Then, yes, yarn over, and slip knit pass. like so, and then we want one right up here because this is the, the top of that diamond, so again, going to yarn over and slip knit pass, slip, and knit. And pass. Very good. Then, like I was saying, I would like one to be right here as well. Now, in order to do that, what to do, huh? Well, what we could do is I could knit this stitch and then yarn over and slip knit pass. I think we could do that. I think that would work. So, or actually, wait a minute, no. So strike that, reverse it, because the reason why, okay, is because we have an eyelet, a stitch, an eyelet, a stitch. So actually, what I would need to do is an eyelet, so we need a yarn over, then, yes, then do a slip knit pass. I think that would in fact work. So yarning over, and then slip, knit, and pass. See, we got we got counting to do. <laughs> All right, so now looking back, we have eyelet stitch, eyelet stitch, eyelet stitch. Perfect. And you can tell that it's an eyelet because it has a bit of a an angle to it. You see? Okay, so moseying right along. Now we've got two eyelets here, and actually. What I'm thinking I might do is have them going both off to the left, or maybe just one. We could do both. What would be more dynamic? Because I know that this eyelet over here, I would like to continue on to the right. So if we move this one on and then both of these on, that could be interesting. So yeah, in that case, let's knit the next two stitches. So one and two. Then yarn over. Slip. 
init and pass. Do it again. Yarn over. Slip. Knit. And it pass. Okay, so we've got our two eyelets, and those are going to continue on to the left. And then we've got this one eyelet right here, and this is going to work out just fine because we have these two eyelets. So knit these two together, and then yarn over for this eyelet. Okay, so knit these next two together. Okay, and then yarn over. All right, so this series of eyelets is taken care of. Now over here, we have a branch because we've got these two eyelets. So we're going to knit these next two stitches, knit these two together, and yarn over. Okay, um, yeah, I think we'll do that. So knit the next two. One and two, and then knit the next two together. Okay, then yarn over, and then let me see here. Well, we have this branch here, and then we also have this series of eyelets here. What we could quite conceivably do is just have this series of eyelets terminate right where it is. We could do that. So what I want to do, though, I, I definitely want this one to continue on to the left. So knit three stitches. One two, three, yarn over, slip, knit, and pass. Okay, and then last but not least, Well, actually, you guys know I'm a bit of a fuss budget sometimes, too. So actually, what we could do is we could have this eyelet double back. We could. So in order to do that, knit the next stitch. You know, he'll just, he'll just retreat. He won't terminate. He'll retreat. So I'm knitting this stitch, and then yarning over and doing a slip knit. And pass, then knit the last stitch. That works. Okay, <laughs> so that's the end of 142 for row 143. Knit your way back across, and I'll meet back up with you. Row 144. Alrighty, so what I'm thinking offhand is right now, we have a total of three eyelets on the end here. So what I'd like to do, I think, is to reduce them down to two eyelets. And that would be one here and one right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit the first four stitches and then get an eyelet right here. All right, so knit, knit the first four. One. Two, three, and four. Alrighty. And then going to actually, I know, I know, I know, 
I'm a fuss budget. All right, yes, let's yarn over. Then do a slip knit pass. I almost I almost wanted to undo a stitch, but no, I'm good. So I yarned over. Now do a slip knit pass. There we go. And then we need another one right here. So again, yarn over. And then another slip knit pass. Slip, knit, and pass. Okay, so now we only have two eyelets on top of there. Now over here, okay, see over here, we've got these two rows of eyelets going to the left. We've got this one over here going to the right. Well. What I am offhand thinking is actually what I might do is have this eyelet perhaps double back to the right. So knit this one, knit these two together, and then do a yarn over. So knit one, knit the next two together. and yarn over. Okay, now we have sort of a, a conflict between these two. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So what I'm thinking is have this one continue on and perhaps have this one terminate perhaps. Or, or what we could do is have this one continue on to the left and then have this one double back to the left. Or, <laughs> yes, there is an or, or uh, this one actually, and this one all the way on the side here, we could do a double decrease here. That is another option. So that being said, let's start with this one. So let's knit three. One. two, three, yarn over, slip, and knit, and pass. Okay, then yeah, I, I think that it would be neat to do the double decrease right here. So that being said, I'm going to knit the next one. Then yarn over. Slip the next two stitches together knitwise. Knit one, pass those slipped stitches over and off, yarn over. Okay, so this eyelet is taken care of. Now we have over here a bunch of stuff going on. Now, what I could conceivably do, actually, is I could do the same thing right here, because we've got three, three stitches separated by two eyelets. We could do that, actually. So, that being said, let's knit the next stitch. And then, again, yarn over. Slip the next two stitches knitwise. Yarn's a little bit tight, bear with me. 
There we go. Slip those two, then knit one. Pass those slipped stitches over and off. And then yarn over. Okay. And then this little guy on the end, well, we could have him move over once again. So going to knit the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, yarn over and slip, knit, and pass. Okay, so that is the end of 144 for row 145. Knit your way back across. I'll meet back up with you. Row 146, and the adventure continues. All right, so I'm thinking that, yes, I do want an eyelet here. However, I would like it to start traveling towards the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit... Let me see here. We're going to knit these four stitches, then knit these two together and do a yarn over. So that being said, let's knit the first four. One, two, three, and Four. All right, then knit the next two together. And yarn over. All right, so that deals with our, our diamonds that we had at the end. Now over here, we have this one also traveling to the right. So we're going to knit these next two stitches, then two together and yarn over. So knit two, one, and two. Knit these next two together. And yarn over. All right, so now this bunch of eyelets is taken care of. All right, scooting right along. Okay, well, now we've got this one going to the left. Let's, let's keep having that one going on to the left for now. So going to knit the next five stitches, then yarn over and slip knit past. So we're going to knit five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, yarn over. Slip and knit and pass okay and then over here we had this double decrease right here i'd like an eyelet right at the top here and then also over here we did the same thing so i want an eyelet here and an eyelet here so that being said going to knit the next stitch Then yarn over and slip knit pass, slip, knit, and pass. 
Okay, very good. And then for our eyelet right here. Now this one, I think, like I said, I'd like it to go to the right. So that being said, going to knit, let me see here, going to knit the first stitch, then knit these two together and yarn over. So knit one, then knit two together, and yarn over. All right, and then last but not least, okay, so let me see here. We have one, two, three, four, and five. That's only if we keep the eyelet there. Um, Tricky, tricky, tricky. What to do? Well, I'm not entirely sure. What we could do is actually we could create a branch right where we are right now. We could do that. So we just did our yarn over. We did a knit two together and a yarn over. Well, you know what? Plans do change. So let's knit this next stitch. then yarn over and slip knit pass. And then knit the last four stitches on our needle. One, two, three, and four. Okie dokie. All right, so that's the end of 146 for row 147. Knit your way back across, and I'll meet back up with you. Row 148. Okay, now I'm thinking right off the bat that, well, we have three stitches in between these two eyelets. However, I would also like for this eyelet to branch out as well. So we, we got some weirdness, but we will get through it. So first things first, let's knit the first three stitches. So one, two, three, and then before I continue on with the weirdness, let me pull out some more yarn here. All right, so what we need to do is we are going to knit these two together first. Then do a yarn over. To compensate for that one, and then we knit one, and then yarn over, and then we're going to do the double decrease right here. So slip the first two stitches knitwise. And knit one, pass those two slipped stitches over and off, like so, and yarn over. Okay, now over here, well, we've got a big empty space up here. Now over here, we have a bunch of eyelets going on. Now this one is just sort of hanging out at the moment. It's kind of sad. Um, we could have him traveling back. We could have him branching off. We could have him do a lot of things. Um, decisions, decisions. Well, 
you know what, I think let's have him doubling back. So I'm going to have to knit these two together, but before we do that, we need to knit, knit the next four stitches, which we shall do. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. Then knit the next two together. And yarn over. So that deals with this eyelet right here. Now over here, well, let's see, we have an eyelet and then we've got three stitches and then we have another eyelet. So we could quite conceivably do another double decrease, which I'm very tempted. So let's go for it. So I'm going to need to knit the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four, then yarn over, slip the next two knitwise together, knit one, pass those two slipped ones off, There we go. Then yarn over. Okay. And then we've got this one branching off to the left. Well, let's let them continue doing that. So knit the next three. One. Two. Three. Okay, then yarn over and slip knit pass. And knit the last three stitches. Okay, so that's the end of row 148 for row 149. Knit your way back across. I'll meet back up. Last but not least, row 150. All right, so yes, I would like this eyelet to continue on to the right. So we're going to knit the first two stitches, knit two together, and yarn over. Sort of par for the course. So... Knit these first two. There we go. Then knit two together. And yarn over. All right, now we have over here an eyelet and an eyelet, and I definitely want an eyelet right up here. And I'm thinking that I do want it to go to the left. So I'm going to knit the next four stitches. One, two, three, and Four. Yarn over. Slip. And knit. And pass. Okay, and then I want for this one to continue on to the right. So, knitting the next two. And then 
we're going to knit two together and yarn over. So knit two, and then knit two together. Sorry, my cable just got caught. So knitting these two together and yarning over. Okay, then let me see. Over here, well, I definitely want an eyelet right here. So we're going to knit our way across over to that one. Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that being said, you know what? Let's just focus on this one right now. So I'm going to knit one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stitches in total. Then going to yarn over and slip knit pass. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, scratch that, reverse it, knit six, don't knit seven, knit six, <laughs> pardon me. Okay, yeah, because we have to do it the one the one before that. So yes, okay. So I only knit six. Pardon moi. All right, so then yarn over and slip knit pass. Slip knit and pass. There we go. Okay. Quick save. <laughs> All right, so now, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just have this one continue on to the left for now. We're going to have to introduce some new eyelets soon, but not for this row. So knit the next four. One, two, three and four, then yarn over and slip knit pass. There we go. And then knit the last two stitches on your needle. And there you are. All right, so that is of course the end of row 150 for row 151 knit your way back across and we will catch up all right my dear so that is yet another episode of the mystery lace knit along as always i'm having so much fun with this i hope you are too and if so you know please hit the little little thumbs up button down below hit like subscribe for more because i do try to post videos quite often, whether it's knitting or crocheting. And I, you know what, I honestly didn't think that I would be doing this knit along for as long as this, but hey, I'm enjoying it. And if you are too, I'll keep doing it. And what I would like to do, I'm thinking, is to get this scarf that I'm currently doing to approximately seven feet in length. And that's quite a few videos to go, but I would say we're mm, roughly halfway there, give or take. Now, I know that some of you also added a border, so it's more of a wrap. I think that's awesome. And uh, yeah, so you know what? I'm always looking for feedback, and I would love to hear from you. So please do so comment in the comments section down below. Until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.